Hey there, everybody. That here, and welcome back to that plays Age of Wonders 4. Now, we got a, another full army over here. We're at the end game. Going for that magic victory. Got uh, 13 turns to go before we get it. And Sinran is not very happy about that. As you can see. Zaytheel, she's chosen her side. She's chosen to be on our side about that. So we're going we're gonna to see how that works out for us. All things considered. But we do have a couple of armies we can send out. Including some Spellbreakers. Uh, Dork Knight. Neat. Ready to rock and or roll. And of course we have our armies over here defending our heart. And they're ready to go. And defending the root. As well as the seed. We should probably put them closer to the position of both of them. I think this will put them one turn away from either one. There we go. Mm-hmm. We could always teleport them too, but you know, we may not have to do that. You never know, you never know. Alright. Next turn. I'm thinking we just move these two around a little bit. See how life looks from that end. Oh, invaders just spawn in. Hey, yeah, they just do that. Oh, they're marauder guards too. Even better. Okay. Pyroclastic eruption. Do 15 damage to all units in a province and uh, destroy all the province improvements. And turn it into desolate terrain. That seems fun. Let's go with Consecrated Domain next. I mean, you gotta test it. You gotta test it. Come on now, how can you not? Uh, blow up this quarry. God damn! Well... That blew it up quite a bit. It's Ashlands now. They can put a hut there, but they can still build a quarry. So if it doesn't have rocks, then you could just blow it up and it'd be useless. Good to know. All right. What do we got over here? Got a lost wizard, a mirror mimic, and some serpents, a watchers, and a keeper. And this is a lot of phantasm warriors and a mystic projection. All right, nothing we can't fight, or nothing we haven't basically fought before as well. Let's do it. I mean, the, the Lost Wizard's going to be tough, let's be real. He's a, he's a major lad who does freaking 21 damage on a shot that does three hits. He can also move for free, and he gets a free spell every turn. So, you know, he, he's not, he's not easy rares. You know, let's not pretend he is. But he should be defeatable. Okay. They're staying pretty well grouped up, except for the wizard. Which I think works well for us here. All of our arcanists are over here on this side. Something to keep in mind. There's a little bit of fire right here, too. Just a tad. Okay. Well, all of our melee lads are over this way. All of our major ones. Like the Zerkers. So, let's have them move up. I want to see if we can get them to sneak around the side here. I don't know if they'll be able to do it, but we'll see. Guild boy, you need to move up this way. Take the archers with you. Okay. Blessed souls. Sorry, we did a lot of unit upgrading here. Go right here. Stay in front of the fire. I think that's fine. Steel shapers, move up. Face the enemy. Give me some extra defense on the blessed boys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and do my... Uh, so let's go ahead and phase real quick. Phase is free. So pop up. Summon an elemental. Let's see what boy we get this time. Alright. Storm boy. Very cool. And then all of you... Stay behind the rocks. But I don't think I want you to fully retreat yet. Let's have you, one of you, actually, let's have a couple of you sit in the high foliage over here. Just see what they do to that. Maybe they'll try to attack. Maybe they won't. They're staying pretty damn close together. Which is beautiful for me. I could call a titan 160 mana. 
Yeah, let's summon a big boy. Right behind him. Hi! How are you all doing? I got one move! And I think this battle mage watcher is lucky enough to get it! Hi there. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful. I think... I think I want to go defensive with a couple of you other ones for now. Let's move you forward, though, because you're free. You're basically free damage. Can I get you to smite someone? I can. Smite's a range attack. Go for it. Alright. Move up a little bit. Your defense is phenomenal, so I think I want you to actually, like, defend against some enemies. Honestly, yeah. Let's move you straight forward. Um, go into defensive mode. I think that's going to be the ticket. Only 50% chance to hit, which sucks, but... Yeah, we hit the wrong one, but we did hit one. Got a little bit of a mirror veil for it, which is not perfect, but it's fine. I could have you phase in. Oh, man, you can blast all the way over here. Do it. Give him the cold! Beautiful. Yeah, we got a lot of phase that we can use. How far over here can they get? He can move to there. Teleports a unit to target Hex, dealing damage to adjacent units, and then gains refuged. Okay. Let's stay a little bit away. This is kind of the area I want you in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No closer than this. Let's start moving in that direction. Okay. That's good. Y'all? Y'all only got four to deal with, but you got a tough four enemies to deal with. Head up here. Go straight for him. Charge him. You got that damage. Sundered his defense. That's what I like to see. Okay. Yeah, get, get up here where you get the 90. Oh, that's right. You're going to summon an animal. I forgot about that. That's good. Before you move, though, move my archers up to where I can get a 90. That's an arbalist. Remember that. Not an archer. These are archers. It's a big ass difference. I know I'm moving them into a spicy location. I think it's going to work out for us in the long run. Okay, because you're dead. Beautiful. He pops, which is fine. You can go ahead and blind this one, maybe. Nope. No blind. All right. That's fine. Go ahead and... Wait, which way are you facing? Face up this way. Give me the inspiring defense on everyone around you. And then why don't you go ahead and get more defense on our archers? Because they're the ones I'm a little worried about. And then what the hell am I gonna do over here? Give someone some extra power? Maybe. This would be pretty sweet. It should be sweeter if I was in the middle of them. So I'm gonna move in the middle of them. Um, obviously I can't do that this turn now, but that's fine. I can still... Evocate some frost. Oh, gosh, I forgot. I upgraded my weapon. I'm going to slap. And give misfortune. All the slappage. You just wait. You're fine. Arcanist, you all wait as well. Hmm. Hmm. Uh huh. Hmm. Okay. Wizard moves first. Big shock. Lightning storm. That's what he got from Forbidden Tome. Ouch. 44 damage. That's spicy. Okay, he's going to get a little bit weaker transforming into our gilded soldier, technically. Ouch! Lightning! Okay, our blessed soul is taking a ton of damage here from all this lightning. Nope, the eel moved down there. It's going to be invulnerable and stunned, though. Um, hi! Oh, gosh. Okay, that wasn't that bad. You have to move? All right. I thought you had one point left. I don't know how you got the move and attack in the same turn, but okay. Not too afraid for the bone boy. Is that a, what is that? That is a projection. Huh. It's a wild enemy type to have there. Yeah, get bashed. Enjoy your gilding. Okay. So this dude is invulnerable for a turn? Yeah. That sucks. Because he's kind of in the way. However, actually, because he's in the way, we can, yeah, attack this guy. Because he's stunned, 
He can't move. Turns out that's how that works. Uh, but he also can't... He can't have a zone of influence on us. Go ahead and try to knock this guy. Oh, he won't be affected by that. He'll t still take extra damage. Get him. Nice crit. Okay. Go ahead and... Hmm. I don't know if I want to zerk on him or not. I do think I want to have our... Yeah. I do want to have your our boys go after him like that. This is a problem, though. I can't get you out of there, archers. Not without taking some... Oh, well. Oh, no, no, no. You used your stuff. He used his stuff. Yeah. Get out of there. Shoot him. Beautiful. Can I get a heal? Over here? Uh, no. That's not worth it. Just shoot him. Okay. Now you can run up this way and get him. Mm. No golden curse yet. You summon an animal. What do we got? Unicorns! You could phase in and attack. Good. Engage this one. Nice. Okay. Now we got our own golden boy, but shocking phase. Electrify everyone near you. Well, your other attack is just a single hit rush, so I think it's worth it. Okay. And then you can still use a single hit rush, which you're going to use on this one. Beautiful. All right, big boy. Uh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Let's go. That was that was a pretty easy choice. 66 damage. Uh, straight gold. Oh, I thought that would actually... I, I thought that was something you had to target for. Whoops. No, I learned my lesson. Steel Shapers. Please heal my gilded ones. My uh, blessed ones. They need it. You can float, so you won't be affected by a lot of this stuff. Which is nice. Mm -hmm. You can also float. Which, again, nice. Uh, you know what? Go here. Because then you get you get two attacks in. And... Who is this? This is Blessed or Phantasm Warriors. Okay. Yeah, I think these guys are spicier. The Astral Keepers. Just a little bit. Get them. Nicely done. Okay. Let's get our Astral Boys going. How do you only have... Oh, because he's like... Yeah. He's got a good evasion. Even if we got super close, it'd be a very low chance to hit. But this is three chances, so... Gotta go for the highest chance here. You move out of the way so that someone else can move up this way. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's get some others moving. We're not going to move close enough where they'll be able to get hits in. This is not going to happen. So come over here and go into defense mode. Okay. We're sneaking them in. Come on, little ones. Let's go. I could... I mean, I could phase, but no. Phase next turn. Okay. Okay. Mm, big blessed boys, where do we have you go? Nowhere, really, because there's nowhere for you to go. Just defend. Alright, that's big damage. <sighs> do I take the big damage? I think I take the big damage. What's the accuracy? 100%? 48% chance of stacking misfortunes? Yes. We stacked it once. I'll take it. 10% extra chance to fumble. And... Yeah, he's in neutral morale right now. Okay. Can I summon another one right here? I could. That is tempting. Tempting, tempting, tempting. Meteor shower, also tempting. But we could end up hurting our own units with meteor shower. You know what? Let's, let's get another titan. He's going to teleport, but who cares? He's going to get bashed first. Okay. He's got to run away. Ow. Oh no, they've gilded my berserkers. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh god! The fish laps! Oh, that's not good. My archers. Son of a gun. There's a very real chance they're gonna kill my archers. He actually moved like a normal Yeah, they're killing my archers. You mother brickers. Okay. Now I'm upset. All right. You know how much I have work I had to put into those Zephyr Archers? We weren't already, like, so close to the end game. I would actually consider doing the fight over just to save them. But we are very close to the end game. That said, frick this guy. Let's get him killed. Um, 
do the strong shot on this guy so that the unicorns can kill him. Uh, you gotta go the other way, unicorns. Ah, they leave behind rainbow trails. That's great. Bam. All right. Nalvar. God, your accuracy is way worse than I feel like it should be from where you are. I guess that's fine, though. Okay. Bash him. Um, and then hit him with this. I was really hoping the crit would knock him out of uh, position here. That's okay. Arrows this way. Okay, that did it. That did it. He's going to transform back into the Mimic, who can't die this turn because of video games. I believe. Wait. I thought our Berserkers had a move. No, we should be able to kill him. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, whatever. Bash him. He's dead. Good. That's what I wanted. Okay. Golden boy, you can hold up. You can wait. Mm, yeah, just bash this one. Lightning boy, you bash him too. Okay. Good stuff. Mm, golden boy, I'll have you wait. Wait a dang minute. Okay. Teleport. You're going to get some business today. Oh, the business. It be coming, boys. And it's coming for your ass. Dude, these little... These little freaking teleporters. They're like the world's strongest teleporting mosquitoes. I love it. Okay, teleport over here. Alright, we still got two hits. That's good. That's good, I'll take it. Okay. You teleport over here. Hi. Hi. Oh, that almost was completely awful, but it wasn't completely awful. It was, it was, it was pretty bad. <laughs> okay, what do you got? 70% over here? Take it. Okay, we got a little bit hit of the veil, but we ended up being okay. Okay, we, we got him flanked, so we can we can bolt him. Nice. Okay, get all mystical on him. Bless him. Bless him to death. And then there was you. You spicy little bitch. You gonna get what you get. Boy! Get the hell out of my house. Ass? Alright. Let's shape that one. The enemy is fleeing. Do you wish to claim victory and win the battle immediately? No, I want them to die. I want them to get what they deserve. Okay, where is my insta-kill? Crushing Earth. I can use it on you, or I can use it on you. You're farther away. You're close to escaping, I should say. Good. Okay. Oh, right. Get him. It's what you get. Okay, I gotta replace this Zephyr Archer. But that's it on that front. All of our little boys. Little gals, I should say. They all got to elite. Which means they get an extra attack point. Which is kind of a big deal. Because that means they get three extra attack, technically. We also got 60 bucks. So, yay. Alright. Let's see, they took my Zephyr Archer. So, I'm going to get a Mirror Mimic out of it. I'll wait till next turn to cast it, but that's fine. Alright. Now y'all can hold up. Y'all will continue holding up. Beautiful, beautiful. And you all, I think, will group up. Is what I want. Group up over here. I don't know if I'm going to have you do more yet. You may just hang out a bit. We can see... We can see what our allies are doing over here, if anything. They are gathering at the seat above all. There's Zethil herself. Nice eyeball. Um, what else you got? You got any other heroes? No, you do. What? Well, who is that? Cadmel, the Sentinel. Oof. All right, battle axe. Nice. A barbed shield. 
That's cool. It's got a demon step up in here. Neat looking. Is that a porcupine? It's a razorback. So basically, neat. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, High Ridge has a... Some... I was going to say giants. This is it. I was going to not say giants. I was going to say like ogre or something. It wasn't an ogre. It was a giant. Okay. More defensive stuff over here. Let's spend on it. Beacon of Valor for mana hold. That's very defensive. We needed that. We could have thrown a mirrors. There's also a bunch of bazaars, but I don't think we need those necessarily. Give me the throne of mirrors. Speaking of, Ashwall completed a throne of mirrors. Could get the channeling chamber for extra combat casting points, which is probably worth it, but we probably should have gotten these spires a while ago. And then Magitarium can grow? Well, then grow you shall. I guess we're getting fish. Hi, Octopi. How you doing? <laughs> Hopefully you're doing okay. All right. Give me my mirror mimic. Reinforce my army. That does make it stronger. I mean, you're definitely worth more. You are just an interesting lad. I like how you have one elfin ear and one human ear. And also a regular melee attack. But more importantly, mimic. Which is neat. He's got that magic origin. He doesn't uh, conform to a regular fighting style. He also costs three Imperium. I guess to convince people not to kill it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Either way, good stuff. And we can afford it. Three Imperium's not that big of a deal. Okay. What's our strength? 1462. Pretty good. We're a little melee heavy now, but I got enough I got enough range stuff for everybody. So it's fine. All right. I assume they're going to drop off more enemies on us here soon. Ooh, they don't want to battle over here. Let's go. I mean, you better. You got you got a good amount of army going on. Are you going to try to take over High Ridge? Is that the goal? I feel like that might be the goal over here. Freaking city has a population of 20. Well, Ashwell's almost there. Yeah, you can spend a little bit of Imperium there. Now we're there. Take over a little bit more ocean. It's an oyster reef here. We need to take out this ship to get it. Which is doable. In fact, we can send these two armies over there to do it. Go ahead. Move your butts. See if we can do that. Consecrated domain researched. Okay, we can make a city have two extra resistance to all units and extra morale. Astral Convergence, a tier four astral book. Astral Shattering, target enemy province. It's destroyed and the population is lost. Spawns a powerful marauding army of astral sea creatures. On the province? It destroys the province? I'm very curious as to what that means. Explosive manifestation. Target non-occupied hex. Okay, this is a battle spell. All adjacent units to same 30 damage of three different elementals. Okay. And they're in combat. Three random enemies sustain some type of damage. Okay, no towers will be present to aid the defender in battle. These really screw people up, it looks like. Links the target race of the Astral Sea. Allowing the pass through and gives one mana and knowledge per population. Whenever you cast a spell in tactical combat, add a stack of cascading power to that combat. At the end of each of your turns, a random enemy takes five damage for each active stack. Ooh. That's a nice one. Arcane Surge. Whenever a spell is cast, gain strengthened and defenses. Yeah, this is a good book. We'll grab it. When you alter the currents of the Astral Sea, the currents alter you as well. I'll take the cheap move, I True guess. Masters or the cheap the spell. will become conduits of the magical energy they command, letting it flow through their very being. Mm -hmm. This energy can be used to infuse their subjects, enhancing them in a number of ways. Thanks, Merlin. All right. 
Very neat, very neat. Gauntlet. Made some ballista towers. Good. Um. Oh, give me the shipyard. It's free. Okay. And I could do the fishmonger after that. Give me the arcane institute after that. Masonic hall downstairs. All right. Uh, let's give me the cheap stuff first. Give me the vendor and then the shrine. Gauntlet can grow. Well, not very much space for Gauntlet to grow into now, so give me this fishery. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. I think we're feeling it. Okay. Yeah, Ashwell's doing pretty good. Hey, uh, Zaytil, I was wondering, do you have any other items? You do not. You have a oh, single white wolf. I mean, it is a tier three mount. It is kind of neat. You know, 20% extra damage per adjacent unit with Pack Hunter. That's not that useful. Frost resistance is kind of neat, though. And it can howl. Yeah, I'll buy it. Why not? Currently, our relations are indifferent. They still don't like the fact that I have a good relationship with free cities. She started an unjustified war. Let's forgive this one. She'll like that. Probably go a long way. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Cool. Don't worry about our spells. Obviously, Sindarin's not going to sell us anything. He, uh, he hates us a lot. <laughs> Uh, a lot, a lot. I could give you the the white wolf. Mm. Neat. Sure. Unfortunately, any hero that's carrying a staff can't use a... Can't ride a horse. Or a wolf can ride a horse, probably. No, can't ride a horse either. Can't ride either. <laughs> What's up, Tinwall? Toiled Copper Bank of Tinwall. Request a moment of your time. As proud, industrious mold warps, we need to keep improving our city. Guild mistress Toril Copperbank explains, our newest project will upgrade my own mansion. My architects have suggested a few designs. She reveals a few wooden models flanked by nervous architects. She gestures to the models. If it would please you, my first protector, I would grant you the honor to choose the final design. Those designs look interesting. I'll take them. No, it's, it's evil and it steals production. For an offering, I'll ask my builders to share their insights. Get 700 gold. The design... The design that was both sturdy and effective in use of its materials. Materium boon. Well, yeah, give me the materium boon. That's fine. Yep, more more invaders. Ma explosive manifestation. Cast that during combat. Summon astral reflections. Ooh, yeah, give me that. I'd like to do that during battle. That'd be fun. Arcane Institute done. Didn't take long. Give me the uh, industry compound. Upgrade gauntlet. Mana hold. All right. Got the bathhouse. Excellent. Looks like they are. Yeah, they are near the seed. Okay. You might as well get. Yeah, give, give a bathhouse. Why not? Stone walls and copper load. Thank Frick. Give me the ballista towers and the bastion's barricade. Okay. And then everyone requires orders. What do you got? Is this the same army? No. It is almost the same army, except we have a phase beast over here. Other than that, exactly the freaking same. Um, which I think is hilarious. Okay, we can just barely reach them. Which works. I just need my army to get down here to fight their armies. Y'all. Yeah, disembark. Or embark, excuse me. And y'all can stay here. Sorry, you guys aren't getting much action. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll attack the heart soon. <laughs> they got to be thinking about it at least. Right? I would imagine. Well. I say. I say we keep helping out our allies over here. <laughs> um. Yeah. Boom. Hits everybody in the army. For 15. I'm helping. Alright. Let's do this fight. Okay, another lost wizard. An evoker. 
Mm, okay. They got electricity. And they're not afraid to evoke it. They got a couple of these astral serpents. They're the ones that can teleport. Okay. They can hit pretty hard, too. So I got to keep that in mind when they do teleport to us. Sure. On the turn they teleport, no danger. After that, oh boy. Hold on to your butt. Okay, they've all headed in a single direction again. Toward my group. Alright. I'm not complaining about that. Guild boy, don't move on the fire. Are you immune to fire? Are you, like, immune to it? You're immune to status effects. No. Oh, well, then yes. Then walk on the fire. Screw it. Move up there. Get all up in this. Blessed souls, same thing. Get all up in this. Okay, you can't mimic on the first turn, but you'll be able to mimic after that. Good to know. Good to know. I need to phase up. Okay, give me my summon. Spicy. Fire bro. All right. Love me the fire bro. Alvar. Too bad you can't phase, but go ahead and summon an animal. Look at this time. Ooh, nightmares. I haven't seen them as, you know, creatures that fight. Uh, they do leave fire in their path. If there's a flammable obstacle there. Okay. That's the catch. Okay, good to know, good to know. Okay, Zerkers. Uh, head straight up. We're going to have you Zerkin eventually. Is this foliage? It is. Go up here into the foliage. All right. Steel Shapers, you can just move up. Our remaining Zephyr Archer, you can just move up as well. Arbalest, stay behind the Zykas. And then all of you are going to stay in the woods for the most part. Is this high foliage? It is. Yep. Come on. Stay in the foliage. Stay in the trees. Make them whisper. That'll scare them a bit. Nice. Who's left? Who's left? Eh, just the Arcanists that haven't okay, gone into defensive mode. We're good. Alright. Moving up a little bit. Okay, they're not getting carried away with it. Okay. Now we got options. You can phase. I'm gonna have you just phase right over here. And then explode on them. Or I can have you actually I can have you explode on them from anywhere. But I kind of feel like I... Well... No, because you're you're mainly a ranged character. Just explode on him. Nice. Got a little bit of mirror veil going on, but that's not a big deal. Okay, let's work with our ranged units first. I could have you mimic this guy? A phantasm warrior. That seems like a waste. No, we're going to try to move you closer to something else. I want... Hmm. You could mimic a tier 5, although you'd be slightly weaker than it. If you did that. But I could have you do it. I kind of want to have you go up and bash that freaking fish. And then move you into the low foliage. Yeah, over here is a little spicy. Because if you can probably crush one of our small boys in one turn. Yeah, you almost guaranteed could. So I almost don't want to move them at all. Until I feel safer about it. Explosive Manifestation. Summon a random tier 2. All adjacent units gain mucho damage. There you go. Now, I have a flowing serpent. It flows. It's pretty great. And it can, it can reach out and touch you. There you go. All right. It flowed right on your face. Go ahead and hit the one that's not going to mirror veil you back. Can I hit from here? Oh, I can. Well, damn. Just go for the damage then. Knock that boy out. We can do it so quickly and spicy. Mm, move up this way. Now who can we target? Any tier three? Ooh, there is a tier three. The fish. Oh, the watcher. Get the watch. Yeah. 
Turn to the Watcher. <laughs> now, we got lightning bolts, and I got that psychic gaze that can stun enemies. Neat. Good night. Alright, remember, he'll turn back before dying, which is great for us, needless to say. Yeah, get up here. Hit this fish. I hate this fish. <laughs> These fish killed my dudes. I don't like anyone who kills my dudes. Move up one. Fire on the fish. Okay. Mm, you move up a couple. And fire on the fish. I don't know. We're probably not going to kill this fish in one turn, but we're going to try. Go! Go, my horses. All right, here's what I want. I want you to move right here. It's a spicy location, I know. But I want you to shoot this fish. Beautiful. I want the Bastion to go up here and hit this with these guys. At least get the attack started there. And I want you, Alvar, to come up this way. Give me some extra moves to my Zephyr Archers, because they are still awesome and amazing and powerful as frick. Beautiful. And then what can you do, Alvar? Uh, not much. Not much from here. So just defend. Okay, Steel Shapers still have all their movement points, but there's anywhere for them to go. So just give me some... Let's move up here. Give me some bolster defense here. That'll work. Now the Gilded Boy can move up. Move up to here. Put on your best defense. Fairies. I forgot about the fairies. Let's have the fairies phase. And then we'll have the fairies... Use their ice. I mean, we did nearly kill our own creature, but that's okay. Yeah, let's move up a little bit. I'm a little concerned about that move, but for everyone else, I should be able to keep them... Relatively safe. I don't think the lost wizard is going to go after these ones. I could be wrong, and I certainly hope not. But I don't think they are. Because I don't don't feel like they're a high priority target. I'm a little bit more worried about my fairies with where the phase beast is, but I think this is fine. They won't be able to take out the phase beast in one turn. Arcfire Typhoon. I don't even know what that is. Nope. There goes the Watcher. Go for the stun. Did not get the stun. Okay. I don't remember what these guys are called, but they have a heal. The keepers. Yep, there's a teleport. All right, he's refuged. Remember, he can do a lot of damage next turn. We should probably try to surround him. Ow. Ooh, electrified and burning? Yikes. That's the arc fire typhoon, then. Oh my gosh. 49 damage, Jesus. Okay, not too worried about the guild, the gilded golem, the gold golem. He's pretty strong. You'll likely be okay. That's right, stab him. You're the one who attacked the fairies. Okay. Nice hit from the berserkers. Okay. Uh, this is obviously a problem. Can you heal yourself uh, by a tiny amount? Okay, the, our Arbalest is actually not in danger of getting hit by the Serpent, so just go for this shot here. That's a kill. Nice crit. Our Zephyr Archers are in trouble, so they need to move back. They're still technically in trouble. Um, move back farther, honestly. Put our Nightmares right here. Have them face the fish, and have them go into defensive mode. You're probably going to be okay, too, honestly. Uh, go ahead and heal. There we go. Thank you, Alvar. Let's see. Our Watcher. I think it's a, it would probably be okay if he got hit from behind, to be honest. But 44% chance of stun. Oh, gaze this one. Okay, did not stun him, but marked him, which is nice. Okay, go ahead and phase away. Can you heal yourself now? Yeah, I mean, it's still a weak heal. Probably should have turned you around, but that's okay. We got the some souls over here who can help. That's right. 
You get that business. And that's not all. I got more business for you. And I will probably give you even more business here in a little bit. But before I do that... Uh, go after the Watcher. Yeah, I think he's a little scarier. Mm. Come over here. Just get him. Yeah, get him from behind. The Mirror Veil did a ton of damage, but that's okay. Get him out of here. Boom. All right, that frees up our fairies. Very low chance to hit. But nailed two of them, which is impressive. And the gold boy comes up here for the kill. Beautiful. Now I can turn around and attack these guys. Stack that misfortune. This is an awkward spot for this steel shaper. Let's get you out of the out of dodge here. Yeah, come over this way. Get behind our berserkers. And then yeah, give me the Give me the 100%. Nice crit. Chase him. Get his ass. Alright, I think now we're in a position where we can have everyone teleport and give him some good damage. Oh my gosh, the flanks. It's so good. Bust his ass. Can we one turn this bastard? Maybe? Oh. Yep. Ooh, it's looking good. Oh, it's looking real good. Especially with the crits. Oh, the crits are doing so much. Uh, where can you fade? Okay, you can get closer. Oh my god. So good. So good. And you can come down here and you'll get this fish afterwards. Beautiful. Okay, I'm feeling it. That's right, yeah, you go after the watcher. Great, great, great. Ow. Okay, like I said, gold boy is probably going to be fine. Oh, they're going to... Nope, they're not going to stack on him. Okay. Oof. Okay, it's a, getting a little spicy for gold boy. Oh, you fumbled. Beautiful. 25 damage. And gilded him. Nice. Chase him. Beautiful. Okay, now let's get this fish boy. Unicorns. No, nightmare corns. Nice. Everyone get that fish. Oh, that'll do it. Phenomenal. Alright, then we got four more enemies to go. Berserkers. Mm, well, that's quick. Three more enemies to go. Damn! No, 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 no. We, we, we fight. We fight till they die. You're gilded. Give me the gold. Fantastic. Give me a dang free gold, man. How can you expect me to not want it? Too bad you don't get powered up if I put you on here. Oh, I should have had you phase. I'm gonna have you... No, it's too late to have you phase now. Just attack. Okay. It's fine. You're fine. Who's left to move? The Watcher? You can phase. Hi. Ooh, we broke the trees. Next, I'm going to break your knees. Okay. We're going to phase. Get a little bit closer. Is that close enough to do something? It is. 55%. That's not great. Oh, wait. Let's just put some fire on him. There you go. That's a kill. And then there was one. You're already on fire, so just move up and get a shot. Done. We didn't actually lose anybody that time, and we got a level up, too. Level 15. Nice. Okay. Got a little spicy. Not too spicy, though. All right. Level 15. We don't got any points in Warfare. Let's see. Sanctify Spur to Action. 
I would need two more support skills to get that. It's a really good skill. It's tempting. Gilded magic? Nah. Arcane surge? Whenever a spell is cast, gain strengthened and bolster defense? I mean, that could be really good. Reflects half of non-physical damage back to the attackers. I think I want that. And then, another signature skill. Blink? I already have so many freaking forms of blinking and phasing. I do not need another one. And gain 40 evasion for a turn. Ah, oh, that's okay. I see that. Reckless Rage makes melee stronger. It's not useful. Frostfire Detonation. Deal damage to the target unit and then 30% damage to all units in a 2 hex radius. It's 34 damage. Summon an animal. Tier 3 animal. Holy Retribution. Attacks that hit this unit from within 3 hexes deal spirit damage back. Okay. So we could, we could have a lot of slapback, basically. Um... Three tier one undead. I don't know. It's either Frostfire Detonation or Holy Retribution. I think I'm going to take Holy Retribution. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. At this point, I kind of wish I had a heal spell. <laughs> but that's all right. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, wow. Very quick turn up here, apparently. Okay. The borders still look the same over here. You doing all right, Zaytil? You look like you're doing all right. You got some levels to get, but other than that, Manhold got a bathhouse going. Good for them. Uh, they have built everything except for the armories well, and this stuff, but I mean, I don't really need this stuff per se. Ah, uh, we have some huts, actually, that could be replaced. Get a spell jammer. Yeah. That's fine. Are there any other huts? Got quarries. No, everything else is a farm. All the other basic stuff, I should say. That's fine. Nice pastures. Magitarium has produced... Oh, yeah, that's right. Magitarium has produced a shrine as well. Oh, there's nothing else for you to build. Just give me gold. Okay. Well, thank you for the shrine. I appreciate it. More food income? I mean, at this point, we're just getting fisheries. I don't think that's that big of a deal. Give me the Astral Trade Relay. That's eventually going to be a big deal. So I'm assuming the next group is going to spawn down here. I could be wrong. But that's the assumption I'm making. Okay. Let's surround these guys. I'm ready to give them the business. Uh, let's try Auto Combat first. Let's let you go. 12062 mana. Oh my gosh, what? What is this absolute disaster? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What? All right. I've seen total war auto battles that have made me less sad. Okay. I mean, you couldn't even get me to lose the wind rager? If I was going to lose someone... Okay, get the Wind Ranger up here. Get the Blessed Souls up here. Okay, the archers... I mean, they, they're going to need to arch. There are... There are ace in the hole over here, basically. So I need them ready. Uh, remember, we got these guys who can... Twist up your formation. Kind of a big deal. The Dork Knight? What is this? Dork Surge. It's damage all enemies in a two-hex cone. Okay, so I want you to be up front. Corpse eating. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, you can't really do that here. Attuned cast. Add 10 casting combat casting points to this combat. I mean, if you're going to give it to me for free, yeah, do it. Thanks, mate. All right. Okay, so Karina is a fighter, a melee fighter. So I need her to be ready to move up and fight in melee. Give me the speed. I could literally have her just head straight up. It's actually tempting. Uh, spell shields, I'm not going to have you head up all the way. I could actually get my Zephyr Archers close enough to attack. Let's do it. Literally done. Okay, make sure to face the enemy. Otherwise, that would be embarrassing. 
Okay, Soothers can stay back. Other Zephyr Archers. They're not going to be able to use the Splash this turn, so let's just move up. Mm-hmm. All right. I think that's everyone worth moving. We only had two armies here instead of three. Okay, they're not going to be able to Splash. They can teleport themselves, though, and that's a problem. Hmm. Damn it. That's actually a big problem. Whoa! You have a pull move. Oh, I forgot about that. How often do they use that? I think that's why I forgot about it. That only cost one movement? Holy crap. Okay. Well, that's flipped everyone out of position. Almost. You're fine. What is this? Star Purge? Nah. Just use this. Okay, that's good damage. Okay, I'm gonna need to move some people away. Let's see. It'll damage all adjacent units and displaces them up to two hexes. Actually, come over here and do that. We'll get hit. That's fine. That was not the best displacement. Ugh. Ugh. That sucked. All right, we do have a triple flank attack here. I mean, you could try to assassinate. But I think your chances are going to be... uh doesn't even tell me your chances. That's how bad it thinks it's going to be. Ooh, this does extra damage on a flank. 24 versus 39, yeah. Obviously, we'll go with the one that can do more. That Zephyr Archer is completely out of place. Okay. It's good. Move back. Start shooting. Because you don't have uh, you don't have any way to hit and back. At least not right now. Good stuff. Bastions, yeah, Bastion. Bastion. Nice. Okay. Get up here and attack him and take his retaliation attack. Thank you. And then our Zephyr Archer can get back. <sighs> huh. Mm, actually, we got him. We're behind him right now. Shoot him. That's right. He's flanked. That was better than I thought it was. Totally underestimated the fact that we had him flanked. Okay, they're down to three already. That's good. Got a 100% chance here. Take it. Cool. Okay. We might be all right. Um, we're probably still going to lose at least one, would be my guess. Because this, these two can do a ton of damage. They're both very high tier enemies, too. And we can't summon our Titan. Could do Chain Lightning. They're all weak against it, but it doesn't have any other effects on it. Which has me scared. Crushing Earth can't hit any of them. Which sucks. Um, Lava Burst, good. But I don't think there's... Oh, no, no, no. We're gonna hit. We're going to hit our own, no matter what. If we use that. I think emergency teleportation is something we save for next turn if we need it. And this can do up to 50 damage. That's a good hit. Because we have the Heart of Materium. All of our spells are going to do extra. Well, not this one. <laughs> anything that does physical type. Or anything that's a Materium spell is pro more likely. Seismic Shock still works. It would slow. And it sunders their defense, so we could hit them even harder next turn. Ah, dang, souls are in the way. Dang it. Ah, we could pull someone away. I actually don't know if I want to do that, though. We do have a full heal. Damn it. But we don't have a world map heal. That's what we're lacking. Okay. I don't know what they're going to do, but I feel like it's going to suck for us. Nice bash. Okay, yep. You went after him. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can lose that unit. I can summon him in one turn and have him back. The Blessed Souls... Honestly... 
also probably fine to lose. We might not actually have to lose them, but it'd be fine if we did, I think. Yeah, we could cast and save them for sure if we wanted to. How do you only have 70 from there? What? Obscured by a unit? You're obscured by a wind rager. Basically a living fart. How? How? Ugh. All right, go ahead and heal him. Thank you. Now you can fight. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was dumb. I know it was dumb. Hey, okay, phase in. Get closer, spellbreakers, and then use your ability to uh, you know, break them. Seventy-five damage. Holy crap! All right, I'm gonna try to ignore the banshees. To be honest with you, as much as I can. Nice. Okay, you have to move up a little bit too. Nice, nice. All right. Our souls are uh, pretty stuck. There, now I can get them out of there. Uh, if they had any movement points. <laughs> they, they, they don't. All right, well, I guess salvation it is. Heal them. Like I said, they were going to live either way. I could make sure of it. Spell shield's got this one, though. Okay, and then Karina is able to move. Go ahead and attack this one. Okay, get it out of there. If it tries to move, it's gone. You can summon them every turn, huh? I thought one had to be destroyed before you could summon another one. Insanity and despair. Well, that's not good. Oh, and they can phase. Golly. Oh, no. All right. Chain lightning. Good. Go all in on this guy, obviously. 50? Because you're in the way? <gasps> My goodness, McGracious. Okay, he's not in the way anymore. Shoot him. The absolute state of video games sometimes. Done. Okay, no more insanity. All right. Hey, look, he still lives. Awesome. A lightning sword. Tier 2. It does four, up to 14 damage. I don't think it's that good. I mean, I'm definitely not trading it off of my own person, but... What do you have? A tier 2 primary? It does 13 damage, so it would be more damage. It does extra damage to fiends and the undead. Oh, we have this clave. Oh my gosh. Kill units. Oh, it's a... It is a big, it's a big weapon. It's a triple strike big weapon. I I think I want you to stick with the sword and shield. What is this? A mystic shield? It's just a tier one shield. Don't worry about that. Yeah, give me the... Give me the noble aegis. Yeah, keep that. Paladin's winged helmet? Fearless permanently. Well, I know who I want to have that. I know I'm probably showing favorites, but... Uh, Yes. Um, damn, you have the Godbreaker right now. It does 28 damage, so it does far less damage. But it also affects three units behind, and it has a huge stun chance. Versus the Glaive, which does... Oh my god, 37 damage times three. I may have to go with the Glaive. It's so strong. I think I have to go with the glaive. It's so strong looking. I do have a helmet for you, though. Got any nice items? Nope. Okay. Side check. Good lord. All right. So now we have unlocked the oyster reef over here. Which is good for us. Okay, head back to land. You're going to need to heal up. It'll take you some time, and it's fine. It's fine that it takes you some time. How y'all doing? We're healing up. Doing the best we can. We're trying. We're trying. We're not quite dying. Yeah, I don't think we need the knowledge income. Not at this point. I mean, we got most of the spells at this point. 
you know? We've got a good amount of them. There's a couple we lack. And that's fine. As far as Materium is concerned, we're nowhere near getting another city. And that would take a while. So I feel like we shouldn't even bank on that. Yeah, our cities are about a, as big as they're going to get, I think. Well, they're not as big as they're going to get. Um, our city count is as big as it's going to get. Put it that way. Get a few more huts. We could grab this hut if we expanded Silver Strahd again. Any other huts? Because huts need to be replaced with unique provinces. Uh, no. Everything else is... Is a farm or a quarry. I mean, there's a hut over here, but... Honestly, what are we gonna do? We could found a city here, technically. We could destroy it, and... It seems like a waste. We could transfer this hut to Silverstrat after it grows. If we wanted to. I mean, there is a little room to grow up here, but not much. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays Age of Wonders 4. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. Everyone, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. So we'll keep coming. It won't stop till it does. And then it will. Thanks again for watching this episode of Age of Wonders 4. My name is That, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, everybody-os. Yo.